Hey guys, this is Jace. Welcome back. I'm a gamer. Uh, not sure hardcore or not, but I am surely play a lot of mobile games. And I have a Redmi Note 4 with Snapdragon X2, X625 with uh, Adrenal 506 GPU. And it's good to play most of the 3D casual games right here. But I, another, I invested in another one. Uh, like this one, the OnePlus 5T with Snapdragon 835 and using the Adreno 540 GPU. So let's check it out. Adreno 506 versus 540. So how the performance that you will get uh, on my the screen left side is Redmi Note 4 or Redmi Note 5 Plus on the latest one. It's using the same chipset also. 625 with the same GPU. So on the right is OnePlus 5T with Snapdragon 835 Adreno 540. So as you can see the performance different over here. You can enable high frame rate mode on the 5T but uh, not on the mid-range mid GPU right here. So how much different is the performance? So do check out the comparison between both of them and between all the games and see it for yourself see whether you should invest on the range smartphone or a high-end one but still in budget just for example like one plus 5t within 500 usd so still within the budget but uh, performance is best in town as you can see so I will keep quiet for a moment and let you enjoy the difference between these two GPU right now. Yes, this is the game that made my jaw drop. Hongtai Impact 3. I didn't realize there was a game as smooth as fast as this kind of action game. As you can see, the performance is very, very big difference. The left hand side, as you can see, the GPU is hardly to keep up the 60 frames per second and sure that it's not even hitting 30 frames per second with all the resolution HDR or the max setting graphic on whereas on the right hand side as you can see the 5T is performing flawlessly uh, just like piece of cake for it so just make the decision yourself whether you should invest on the high end GPU or not and do check out all my 5T performance review on gaming as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Jace. I will see you again. Bye.